92.7 WOBM. Good morning, Sean and Sue with you on a brand new start to our Monday. It is Thanksgiving week, and today we're talking about something all of our audience can relate to, whether or not our kids are getting a good night's sleep. Mm. Today we're joined by Dr. Lewis Milrod, Director of Pediatric Sleep Medicine and Hackensack Meridian Health, K. Havnadian Children's Hospital. Doctor, good morning. Welcome. Morning. Thank you for having me. Hi. Good morning. And I guess you know we 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 just sort of said this uh, you know off the air. You know if the kids aren't getting a good night's sleep, no one is. So I guess it's important for everybody to make sure the kids are getting a good night's sleep. Cranky, grumpy. But, <laughs> yeah, that's true. And mom and dad, too. <laughs> right. Uh, but, uh, you know, I guess we don't think about it. You know, we, we tend to think about sleep disorders. We think about, you know, adults. But I guess, you know, we talk about, you know, making sure our kids are getting a good night's sleep. Maybe we overlook that sometimes, right? That's right. So what are some of the things we want to talk about when it comes to kids getting a good, you know, night's rest? In terms of a good night's rest, we want to establish a good bedtime routine so that the routine is the same each night. Try to take away electronics because the light keeps the kids up and being Mm -hmm. overstimulated keeps the kids awake. Um, How many hours, when we talk about, like, you know, children, uh, how many hours of sleep should kids be getting? It varies by age, but about at two years of age, it's about 12 hours of sleep, including the nap. At five years of age, 11 years. By 10 years of age, 10 hours of sleep. And by adolescence, about nine hours of sleep each night. Okay, so they almost need you know more than when they, the adults do then in most cases. What oh, are some definitely. of the uh, common sleep disorders or problems that you see most frequently in children? Uh, obstructive sleep apnea is very common. That's usually caused in kids by the size of the tonsils and the adenoids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's where kids have shallow breathing or they may stop breathing while they're sleeping. And that can result in symptoms like attention deficit during the daytime. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, now, if we're, that. you know, parent listening, what are some of the signs that, you know, their child might have a sleep disorder or may need a sleep study? Yeah, for sleep apnea, the sign can be snoring or mm-hmm. sweating while they're sleeping, sleeping with an open mouth. Um, they may be, get uh, tired in the morning, having trouble getting them out of bed mm-hmm. or being tired during the day. But kids won't look as tired as an adult would look. Okay. Now, when parents bring their kids in for a sleep study, what do what they look to get out of that study from you when they come to see you? Well, this, <clears throat> the sleep study would help decide if they have sleep apnea. Mm-hmm. It also looks at what we call periodic limb movements where the legs kick while they're sleeping. That can go along with a disorder called restless leg syndrome. And we make them as comfortable as possible. It look, the bedroom looks like your bedroom at home when they do the sleep study. Yeah. And there's, we always tell the kids there's nothing painful or harmful about it. They get to bring their pillow from home or their stuffed animal, hmm. and the parent gets to stay with them, too. Oh, very, very good. Now, my kids are in their 20s, so they're on their own with the sleep, okay? They're, they're adults now. They my daughter's deal with that. 11. But, but Sue's daughter is 11. She gets a lot of sleep, though. I'll tell you, when we have sleepovers, she's the first one to sleep. <laughs> she's going to be that child where they put shaving cream, like, on her head. Or, you know what I, but thank goodness she's a sleeper. Now, is that she because has, has be she asleep. had a routine? Is that why you think she's I, into her she sleep? She just will say, I'm going to sleep. And it could yeah. be 8. 7.30 at night, it it doesn't matter. And you she started the conversation today saying it's very important for that routine, and I guess this kind of goes back to that then. Right, and she could just be a naturally good sleeper, but sometimes when kids fall asleep too quickly, it could be a sign of a sleep disorder too. Oh, no! <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> like if someone is very sleepy, if they're not getting a good night's sleep from the night before, they may fall asleep <laughs> instantly. Yeah, <laughs> But she but most, gets a good night's sleep every night. Bad, though, right? you know but if I she do? functions well during the day, then she's a good sleeper. You know what I do, doctor? <laughs> I leave the TV on. That's not good, is it? No. It's you're, not. You're, <laughs> the TV is on for her when she goes to sleep. No but, phones in her bed. But but in we, her case, it doesn't matter. She falls asleep right away. But for other kids, it can lead to later be, bedtimes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Now, how could parents learn more from our friends at Hackensack Meridian Health when it comes to uh, pediatric sleep and, you know, finding out more about studies and so forth? They can visit our website, meridianwellrested.com. And the phone number for the website is 844-438-8799. Now, my last question for you is, with Santa Claus coming, how do we get him to go to sleep when his Santa's on the way? <gasps> that's, so right. that's a night of sleeplessness, isn't it? For that, the parents are on their own. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we can't help you when Santa's coming. I remember being up all that's night on those nights. And, and that, so. A couple of those nights are probably okay. <laughs> right. Knowing that they're not going to school the next day or taking a test. You know, they're going to be tired Christmas Day, yes, but that's that's you're supposed to be like yeah. that. Right, it's well worth it. Very nice. <laughs> well, we want to thank you for coming in, Dr. Milrod, and uh, meridianwellrested.com is the website to go to. That's right. Make sure your kids are getting Meridian a good night's sleep. Meridianwellrested.com. Okay. Very simple to go to and check it out and get your kids a good night's sleep. And in return, parents, you get a good night's sleep as well. So, Dr., thanks. Have a wonderful holiday season. Thank you very much. You All too. right.